Originally, it was thought the skin would wrinkle on our fingertips and toes because the outer layer of skin would absorb water. This would cause it to increase in volume and expand, but because it's still attached to the lower layers of skin, it compensates this expansion by wrinkling. However, we now know this is not the case. When we're submerged in water, nerve signals cause blood vessels in our fingertips to constrict, and this reduces the volume of the padding in our fingertips and toes, and this is what causes them to wrinkle. It's a similar thing that happens to a smooth grape. When all the water is removed, it becomes a wrinkly raisin. Now this mechanism could still be triggered by the outer layer of skin absorbing water, but because there's a biological response which causes these wrinkles, and it's not just some strange phenomenon, it implies that there is a reason for this adaptation, and there is. Research has shown that these seemingly haphazard wrinkles allow us to get a good grip on wet objects. The wrinkles allow for water to drain away very effectively, in a similar way to the rain tyres you can get for cars, which improve the grip on wet roads. Now this would give us a very clear advantage throughout our evolutionary history in certain environments. We'd be able to climb up out of water onto rocks easier, hold onto wet weapons or tools better, and even keep hold of wet prey. So wrinkly fingers do have a surprising benefit, and it possibly offers us a small insight into the type of environment that we evolved in. For this kind of adaptation to be a significant advantage, is it possible that we evolved in a more water abundant environment than previously thought? I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a comment, thumbs up and subscribe, and if you want more information on this topic, please visit the link in the description.